relation of the emotions and the changing emotions to the constant state of awareness is the issue. Um, awareness is like the sky. The emotions are like thoughts. They're like birds that are crossing the sky. They come and they go. Like, for example, you go from, I'm depressed. See, that's the unawakened response. The awakened response is, dig this depression. See? I mean, it's just a different place you're saying it from. I mean, the f interesting thing is the fact that you even notice the depression means there's a little part of you that isn't depressed, because who's noticing? Is the notice of depressed? Mm -hmm. And you begin to play with that, just that little flicker of consciousness. At first, it's just the tiniest little thread in which you say, this is hell. Mm -hmm. And then that little thread, it's like the uh, story of the guy in the tower uh, and his wife wants to save him and she sends a a bug up the t tower with a thread hitched to its leg and then when he gets the thread she attaches a string to the thread and then a rope to the string and he keeps pulling it up and finally he climbs down the rope and escapes. And it started with a thread and that's really all you've got at first is just the tiniest thread of awareness amidst all these raging emotions and thoughts and desires and fears and hopes and there's just this little thread of it but it's persistent and pretty soon it starts to permeate everything. And, and there is a stage when it's doing that when you feel gypped because you are used to getting off on the trippiness of your emotions and your myths. See? And here you are being helping. And there's a little voice saying, helping again, huh? See? Or, you know, lusting. Yeah, what? Oh. And there's another voice saying, lusting, lusting, ah, so. And you say, shut up, will you? I won't, you know. It's like, uh, just one more pizza that I can fully enjoy without having to have that voice saying, eating another pizza. See, and it's interesting because that voice is another stage called the witness, which Gurdjieff and Uspensky and all have talked about a lot. That part of you that watches it all, that's still another set of thoughts. And that one goes too. That's merely a boat you use along the way, and then you drop that until finally there merely is a wit awareness that is present along with everything else. It is not the witness in a self-conscious sense. It is merely, it's, it's seeing, it's not looking. It's a way to say it. 